Um, this video is about using widgets. Here's the front page of a website I made. Um, you can see it's got some YouTube videos, some writing underneath, um, some more writing here with other than descriptions of the videos. Um, we've got another set of videos here, three in fact, which are all, all in a column format with a video above, with a, with a picture above, and then the description there, then the heading, and the main writing. So we've got three of those. You've got a set of rows consisting of a row of writing, text, and a video, or a row of text and images. And that goes all the way down to the bottom here, where you have the frequently asked questions, and then you have, um, which are in this format, where are the main contacts, the first question is already answered, where is Uganda Love? Second question. Third question. What is the accommodation like? Answers here. Then you've got the form here, um, which you can contact people on, which you can contact Uganda Lodge on. Um, everything apart from this background image here um, and, is, and the form at the bottom is created by just entering data into forms which I have created. Um, the forms are called WordPress widgets and you get to them by first logging in by entering your username as the WP admin URL. After you've entered the username, you're taken to this page and you go to appearance and then scroll down past customize to widgets. You'll see sidebar top row, sidebar columns, sidebar rows and sidebar frequently asked questions. Okay. These are places where you put the content or the code that will be rendered on the website. The thing that renders the code on the website is these widgets here. Here we have a row of text with one or two videos which would be um, which would be a row of text of one or two videos is actually this one here. It's got one video, it's got a row of text, um, but you could have two videos here, but it didn't make sense. This is only a small couple of paragraphs. And then you have a row of text with two, one or two images. So here we have the row of text, one or two images, and that corresponds to a widget here. One row with two images. So I can have up to two images. Um, so those widgets, which have those places on the website where you've got the row of text and the row of images correspond to this spot here. Um, you can see where to put these widgets here, as they're called, which contain the contents of the row of text and the row of images. Um, because it says here, sidebar rows. So you drag this along to a sidebar rows and start filling it in. This is for an a row of text and two images. So you have the Im image URL there, image URL, maybe an image description and the main writing, which goes across half the screen. So remove that. So here, here it is. Here we have the image URL, 
the medical center of the scissors, two members of staff returning to a patient at the clinic, and then another image, baby clinic at McNeil Medical Center, and then the text, the, Mac, the Mac medical center hosts a permanent nurse, a qualified lab technician, and has regular visits from a local qualified doctor. So if we go back to the website and scroll down a bit, we can see that the text is here about the medical center, a permanent nurse, a qualified lab technician, and has regular visits from a local qualified doctor. That's there, plus more. And then um, two members of staff attending to a patient at the clinic is here, and the baby clinic at McNeil, Medicine, McNeil Medical Center is there. So you can use the same for images. I get my for videos, I get my videos from YouTube and it's better to get an embed code and just type in the URL of the embed code so um, for the video and then put it into one of these widgets here. So basically widgets are, in my case here, a load of forms which you fill in to make the website work. Um, the topmost section of the website consists of three Im three videos and a row of text, um, and that corresponds to this widget here. three videos and one row of text and it says sidebar top row. Sidebars are places on the page where these um, bits of code are anchored that make up these images. So sidebar top row. Video of work experience of a nursing elective from the UK and video of a group of nursing electives from the UK and video showing a snapshot of a volunteer who went out to remove hunger in 2020 for a month. So, if we look here, look, it corresponds to those, um, to those descriptions. And then we have the writing underneath the text here, which is part of that widget. The McKinnon Medical Center is a rural location which was founded by donations mainly from the UK. So that's part of the first lot of text we see here. The next lot here are in the sidebar columns, which is the columns section of the website um, and consists of vertical widgets. Appearance widget. Sidebar columns, I've quartered sidebar columns. I had to write some code to quarter sidebar columns and I had to write some code to make these vertical widgets consisting of an image, heading, text, and text. So we have the image here, we have a description of the image, we have the heading, medical electives, and we have the text. We support and welcome international students doing their medical electives, their work at the local clinic and nearby district hospital. And then as we can see at the bottom, we've got the more link. You might need a web designer to enter more link or something special like that. That's about the only time you'll need one. The rest of the website can be filled in by entering forms.
last widget, which is a bit different from all the others, is a frequently asked questions widget. Um, here we have the first question, which is, who are the main contacts? And then we have the project director as Dennis, and we can see his phone number here. We can see Anne McCarthy, and we can see um, it finishes by saying, what's up? The what's up phone number. So um, we've got the question two, where is Uganda Lodge? And we've got the answer to what is accommodation like, answer to. And like with all the other widgets, as they're called, when you finish um, editing the widget, you press on the save button and it's stored on the website. Um, so, so we can see the questions here. That's question one, ending with the WhatsApp phone number, including Dennis and Anne. Where is Uganda Lodge? There's the question, that's the answer. What, what is the accommodation like? Question, that's the answer. And the forms here, um, you might need a web designer to do because I sort of fix them at the moment. They're sort of static for somebody who doesn't know much about forms but they can be edited without having any coding knowledge. So just takes patience and knowledge really. Um, that's all I wanted to talk about um, in this video about widgets and how to edit my website. It's all built from widgets. It can all be edited without entering a line of code, provided you have the form already fixed into it somewhere in the background. Thanks for listening. Bye.